Hello, my name is Sonny Greenwich Jr. And today I'll mostly be talking about the Canon EOS M6 and five beginner tips for it. So even though I've been a YouTuber for a few years now, I'm really not great with cameras and I don't really know how to work them properly. Most of the videos I've taken in the past have been done on auto and now <laughs> I'm trying to learn how to uh, use cameras properly. Now that I've started with this new camera, I've got a few things that I've set up a bit differently than the first camera that I had, which was the Canon EOS M3. So I'll show you a few things that I've bought for the new camera and a few tips and tricks on the setup that I've learned so far. So these are beginner tips and beginner things that you would do as soon as you get your new camera and to help with vlogging. And as you can see, of course, it's still gray and it's still windy here in Ireland. It's a little bit warmer, but I guess it's about 10 degrees today. So the very first thing I bought was the Canon tripod slash selfie stick which is a great little thing. Comes with the Canon remote. You can start filming yourself from a distance away. And also if you have pictures to take, for instance, for a night shot where you don't want any jitters in the camera, you can click it and take a picture or just start filming. So that goes right back into the tripod itself. And then the tripod slash grip opens up like that. So you can sit it down wherever you like and take pictures from that. So that was the very first thing that I bought. And you may notice on the top that I have an Arca Swiss plate, which I'll talk about later. I also bought a pair of these inexpensive, but really nice wrist straps for the camera. Uh, you just put your wrist through it like that. You can tighten them up, attach this to the side of the camera. If you drop the camera, boom, you've caught it on your wrist. These ones are really cheap and really nice actually. Another of the things that I bought straight away were some spare Swiss Arca heads. I have a Swiss Arca head on the top of my switch pod. <laughs> I can quickly put the camera on there and yap away. And if I don't want to use the switch pod, I can quickly switch to the Canon grip, which is much smaller and also has the benefit of being able to use the remote. And then of course, the camera right now is sitting on a tripod, which has a Swiss Arca head as well. And just to show you quickly how this comes off, you just turn this and boom, the camera releases instantly. Drop it in. And there it is. For a quick way between different stands and different ways of filming. Now the next thing I bought, it's the cage that is around the camera. Now this cage has got the Swiss Arca style base, so you don't need to have a separate clip, for instance, like this, to connect the camera to your stand. On the first camera I had, the M3, I decided not to have the cage, but I had this kludgy system to hold the microphone away from the camera. As with the M3, the flip screen comes up instead of out to the side. So that allows me, with the cage, to put the microphone on the side. It actually makes for quite simple use. I also, bought this, the k &F Concept Variable ND Filter. I bought one at first that was too dark, 32 to 128, and it was much, much too dark. As everyone says, it's sunglasses for your camera. So it allows you to shoot with a wide open aperture while in direct sunlight. 
ND2 to 32, which allows me to leave the ND filter on as a protective layer for the lens as well. Because I'll be doing mostly video with this camera, I wanted to set up the dials and the buttons on top so that they suit for shooting. Because I know I'll be using the 150th f-stop because I'm shooting in 24 frames per second, I decided to change the shutter speed dial to an f-stop dial. The back dial is set to change my ISO. Now this allows me to change my f-stop here, as you can see. And this button now allows me to change from auto, whatever I want from my ISO. And it's basically on manual now. I'm basically trying to shoot everything in manual so I can actually learn how to use the camera properly. The other thing I did is to set up one of the buttons. So when I click it, it goes to my custom page. I have a few things set up in my custom page on the back of the camera so I can get things done really quickly. I have this button set to go to my menus. You see, and I have the format card, the time-lapse movie, the movie record quality, the image stabilization settings right there. So I have them off the one button, which is this top button right here. It's very, very handy. The format card, which I use to clear my card after dumping all the footage. I also have a quick link to slow motion, the time-lapse. Click the button on the top, which takes me to my last page, which is my custom page. My custom page then has all the little things that I go to all the time. And right there, along with the time lapse, is my format the card and also my slow motion. After you've used slow motion, you have to go back in and set yourself back to 24 frames, which is a bit of a pain, but it's the way it is. I hope this has given you a few good ideas to start off on your journey with the Canon M6 Mark II or really any other vlogging camera, really. There are a number of videos online to show you how to do all the setups and actually how to configure your customization buttons and so on. I'm a camera beginner myself, really, so there you go. Anyway, thanks very much, guys, and we'll see you again really soon. <laughs>